Hi guys, Michael Stillwell here from Stillwell Pianos in Mesa, Arizona, and this is a really rare piano for us. We do not see this many Becksteins, but this is a Beckstein Model 5. It was built in the 1800s. It measures uh, 5 foot 6 inches from the very front of the piano to the very back. And the reason we don't see a lot of these is because think of Beckstein as like Maserati or Bentley. So we kind of look at Steinway and Yamaha as kind of like your consumer grade high end pianos. Um, and Steinway has done a phenomenal job at getting everybody to think of them like that. But there are Maseratis and Bentleys and Ferraris and Rolls Royce and all that stuff above Steinway as well. I think Beckstein, uh, Bluthner, Bosendorfer, these are just some examples. And this Beckstein came to us already rebuilt. So when we got it, it was in really poor regulation. It didn't play very well. It didn't sound very well because the hammers needed to be filed and voiced. So we've done that. And now the true sound of this amazing piano is coming out. Um, Becksteins are German, 100% German, like I said. Um, this one is over 100 years old. It was rebuilt, in my opinion, probably about 20, 15, 20 years ago. So it's a fairly young rebuild. Um, they restrung the piano. Um, they did new hammers, shanks, flanges. So I'll pull the action and show you what's going on, on the inside. And this one does have a Wi-Fi player system on it as well. So we don't even need Nicole here to play for us right now. We're going to have the player system play for us so you guys can kind of hear how this works. It is a QRS Wi-Fi system. So you would have the entire library um, for QRS for free for the first year. And after that, you get about 600 songs for free. And then you can go in and buy individual songs as well. So let me pull the action and show you what's going on on the inside. All right, now that I got the fall board, the key slip off, and the cheek blocks, I wanted to show you something really unique. So like I said, this is a 100% German-made piano, and they do things a lot differently in Germany than we do here in the United States. So one of the things that I noticed is, is that the way that they install these cheek blocks, so these blocks are what kind of hold the action in place. They're on either side of the, the teeth. Think of cheek blocks. They're on the either side of the teeth, which is the keys. And they hold the action in place. And normally they're screwed in from the bottom of the piano with a flathead screwdriver or maybe even a Phillips. Sometimes they'll have a um, we call Mickey Mouse ears uh, a screw with a Mickey Mouse ear type thing on the end. Um, this one, though, however, is held in with this screw that has a tuning pin head on it. So right on the tip of it, this is the <laughs> basically a tuning pin. So I had to use my tuning hammer to get this cheek block off on the end. Kind of a unique, strange little thing they did. But I'm going to pull this action now and show you guys what's going on on the inside here. And there's a lot of difference, differences on the inside of the action as well. So like I said, they rebuilt this piano, I would guess, probably about 20 years ago. Um, as you can tell, they sandblasted a lot of the action parts themselves, so they look brand new. These are brand new Obel hammers. Um, I love Obel hammers. They're very, very easy to work with. We can go forward or backwards with them, meaning we can make the piano brighter or warmer very easily. Um, so what we've done is we got the action in, and we just regulated it. I dialed everything into the specs. We voiced the hammers, so we basically file all the grooves of the strings out of the hammers. And then we needle the hammers based on, you know, whether we want the piano to be warmer or brighter. You do that in different parts of the hammer for different results. Um, but after everything, we're done. I mean, this thing is fully rebuilt. Another really unique thing is on the inside of the action cavity, most pianos, they have a capstan here, and we would just take a little wrench in here, and we would turn it, and it would raise up our capstan, which is going to adjust how the weapons are pressed up. On a Beckstein piano, on a real Beckstein piano, they have what's called a toggle capstan. So it's actually adjusted in the front and a little bit further in the back, and it's just adjusting on how, how high this little piece of metal is on the end of that key stick that's going to be pushing up the whipping. And that's how we adjust the feel of the, the piano, the let off, the aftertouch, the drop, all this stuff is all done by adjusting what's going on in this general section. And this capstan adjustment kind of allows us to do a little bit more in depth. Like I said, this does have a player system in it. So I'm going to put this piano back together and uh, get it playing for you guys so you can hear what it sounds like. All right, so like I said, this piano has a QRS Wi-Fi player system on it. Um, when you buy the piano, you get the entire library of QRS for free for the first year, and after that you get about 600 songs for free, and those kind of cycle through with whatever they're giving out for free that month. And then you can go off and buy your own. So right now I'm going to play Adele for you on here. We use these iPads to control these um, here in the store, but you can use any kind of Android device or your phone. We always recommend having a dedicated device for the piano because a lot of times, say, the husband or the wife or somebody has, a, has the software on their phone and they leave and now you can't play the piano. So you should always have something that stays with the piano. Here we use these iPads. Um, but I'm going to hit play. You'll hear um, vocals and other instruments going too. So there are speaker systems up underneath the piano and those can be adjusted whether you want to hear more piano or more vocals. 
um, and then it's just a little sliding dot that is very easy to control. But if you guys have any questions about this particular piano or any other piano on our website, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. Thanks for watching, guys.